Shares of Mandiant surging following a report from the information that Google is in talks to buy the cybersecurity firm for four and a half billion dollars. Joining us now is the reporter behind the story, Josh Sisko. Uh, Josh, it's good to have you on here. What's, um, I guess, in simple terms, what is the appeal of Mandiant to a company like Alphabet? We've, of course, already heard uh, some rumors beforehand that perhaps Microsoft might be interested. What specific role does Mandiant play in the cybersecurity world? Well, it's a it's a consultancy that has sort of um, focused on you know countering cybersecurity threats, and I mean for a company like Google, it would really bolster its cloud business, which is sort of trailing behind Amazon and uh, and Microsoft. Is it your reporting that that Microsoft and Google are in some sort of bidding war, or that they're both interested, or you're you're just discovering the alphabet piece of this puzzle? We, so it was already reported that Microsoft was interested. We just discovered the alphabet, the Google piece of the puzzle. Um, it does seem like they are in uh, competition for the company. It's not the first time, but um, that is that is the, um, the new interesting um, news here. And you know, we were we were just sort of speculating before that, of course, uh, while not a huge deal relative to the size of uh, of Alphabet, which is you know over a trillion and a half dollars in market cap, it would be its second biggest acquisition ever. Uh, Google's and uh, would it at all trigger any scrutiny in terms of antitrust? Do you think? I think so. I mean, I think you can't talk about Google and a large acquisition without talking about antitrust at this point. I mean, the climate is certainly uh, turned against some of the largest companies, especially some of the largest tech companies. And so, even if there is no ultimate problem, I do think that um, the FTC or DOJ would definitely want to run it down and make extra clear that they were comfortable before they let it go. And that goes for international regulators, too.